Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mr. Zebe and today we will be doing Laplace Transform. So suppose that they are asking us to evaluate Laplace Transform of sine 2t, but we know that Laplace Transform of sine 2t is equal to the integral from 0 to infinity e minus st ft dt where our ft is sine 2t and this can be written as limit of b approaches infinity of 0 all the way to infinity of e minus st so wherever way i'm seeing ft i'm substituting by sine 2t so this is sine 2t dt so right now if, as you can see we are having product of two functions so what do we do is we are going to integrate by part so we are going to say the limit of b approaching infinity of this integral from zero all the way to b sorry all the way to b e minus st sine 2t dt is equal to u times v minus integral of v du that's what uh, that is the formula that we are going to use so i can just let my sine 2t to be equal to u and then on this case i can just let my dv to be equal to minus e st dt so i'm going to differentiate both sides so if i differentiate this it's going to give me 2 cos 2t and this one will give me du over dt because of we are differentiating with respect to dt so in order for me to make du the subject of the formula i'm going to multiply by dt here and dt this side so 2 cos 2t dt equals to du so that's what we're going to be having here so i'm going to integrate this one it's going to be dv which is equals to integral of e minus st dt no need to write uh, the limit here so my v will be the same as because of my s is constant it will be minus e st all over s plus c so right now we are going to substitute on our equation on our formula and this is our formula so what is my yo my yo is sine 2t is sine 2t my v is minus e minus st all over s and then the limit is that from 0 all the way to b minus the, this integral but what is my v my v is minus e minus st all over s multiplied by what is my du my du is this one mm -hmm. is 2 cos 2t dt so that is what we are having there so let me evaluate this limit let me focus on this one uh, for this minute so it will be something like sine 2 wherever where i'm seeing t i'm going to substitute by b times minus e minus s b all over s minus minus e which is this one or i can just write sign 2t multiplied by minus e minus s zero right now i'm substituting what zero even on this t i'm going to substitute zero so this is over what it's over s so so sb as b approaches infinity this whole thing goes to zero session one uh, we did this on session one 
this whole thing approaches zero and this if it, it is zero then multiplied by sine we don't care what sine of 2 infinity will be but zero multiplied by this thing it will just give us zero so negative terms and ne this negative here is going to be positive and then sine of zero sine of zero is just zero multiplied by anything raised to the power one to the power zero is one so it will be one over s Altogether, this gives us zero, as you can see. So, I can just put zero there, as you saw, or this thing, it will just go to zero. So, this whole thing will just give me zero. So, negative times negative, it's positive. So, but my 2 and S are constant. So, I can take them out of the integral. And then I will be having 2 over S. Integral of e minus st. Oh, this integral starts from 0 all the way to b. 0 all the way to b. Multiplied by what? Cos 2t dt. So that's what, that's what we are having there. But this, it is a Laplace transform of what? It is a Laplace transform of cos. But we don't want Laplace transform of cos. We want Laplace transform of S. So we can let 2 over S to be equation 1. I can just say uh, 2 over S to be my equation 1 because of I want to focus on this whole thing. here. So let me erase here. So I said 2 over s is my equation 1. So now I want to focus on this part. So the integral of 0 be e minus st times cos t dt that's what we are having right there that's what we are having right there so but still even here i'm having what i'm having product of two functions so i must integrate by parts again but this is equals to u times v minus the integral of v du that is the formula that we know. So I can just let my u to be cos 2t. So my du over dt will be what? Cos 2t, if we differentiate this, it will give us minus 2 sine 2t. So if I multiply this side by dt and then this side by dt, because of I want to... I want to make du my subject of the formula. So my du will be minus 2 sine 2t dt. That's what I'll be having there. So my dv will be e minus st dt. That's what I'm having there. So if I can differentiate dv and I differentiate e minus st dt like that. So, I will remain with V, and then my V will be what? will be minus E minus ST all over S plus C. But if, even if you don't write that C, it doesn't matter. So, this equals to, let me substitute in my equation. So, what is my U? My U is cos 2T. Multiplied by, or I can just write dot means multiplied by v which is minus e minus st all over s you can write it like this and my limit is from zero all the way to b minus the integral which is this part of v which start from zero all the way to b of v which is minus e minus st all over s multiplied by 
DO. But what is my DO? My DO is this one. Minus 2 sine 2T two dt. That's what I'll be having there. So let me evaluate this, this guy here. So if I evaluate this guy, I'll be having cos of 2. I'm going to substitute B in there. Multiplied by minus E minus S of B. Remember that our B is infinity. It, it, it was just replaced by B over S minus cos 2, cos 2, but in this case, is z, we are going to substitute 0, multiplied by minus e to the exponent minus s into 0, all over s. So, this one I already spoke about on our first session. So, when b goes to infinity, this, this guy will give us 0, and then the whole thing will just give us 0. So, here is going to be 0. So negative times this guy, this negative here is going to give me what is called positive. So if I'm having positive there, what is a uh, cos of 2 into 0 is just 1 multiplied by anything raised to the power 0 is 1 all over s. So I'm having 1 over s. I can just say this is my equation 2. I can just say this is my equation, or let me just substitute here. So this guy I've already seen it gives me one over s. So this one will be negative, negative, positive, positive times negative it will give me negative. Two and s are constant, so I can say two all over s. So this integral of zero all the way to b of e minus st. Multiply by what? Sine 2t dt. But this guy, he is equal to this guy. Because of this one, it is the Laplace transform of 2t. So I can just make this guy to be my equation number 2. So if that guy is my equation number 2, but we know that equation number one will multiply equation number two. So equation number one will multiply equation number two. But our equation number one is two over s into what? One over s minus two over s. And this guy is just Laplace transform, like I said. It's a Laplace transform of what? Laplace transform of sine. 2t. But we must never forget that this whole thing equals to Laplace transform of sine 2t. Hence, is the one that we are evaluating. So this, if I multiply this into this, it will be 2 over s squared minus 4 over s squared Laplace transform of sine 2t equals to Laplace transform of sine 2t. That's, a, that's what I'm having right there. That's what I'm having right there. So what is it can I do now? What is it can I do now? I can just let Laplace transform of sine 2t to be a variable. Because I don't want to have difficulties while solving. So let me substitute this where I'm seeing the blood transform of this one. So it will be 2 over s squared minus 4b all over s squared equals to b. So in order for me to remove this b on this side, I can equals to b. So in order for me to remove this uh, denominator on this side, I can multiply by s squared this side. And then even this side, S squared. So S will cancel out this S, and then I'll remain with 2. S will cancel out this S, I'll remain with minus 4B. And then B times S squared. So, 
uh, adding uh, like terms, this will go to that side. So it will be S B S squared plus 4B. So B it is our subject of the formula. I mean it is our common factor. So I, I just factored it out. So I'm going to remain with S squared plus 4 oh, to this side. So I can divide this side by S squared plus 4. I can also divide by S squared plus 4. So my B or my Laplace transform of sine 2t is actually what? 2 all over S squared plus 2 squared. This is how you evaluate uh, the Laplace transform of sine 2t. And this brings us to the end of our session. And if you 